Hey there. Um, I know it's a really weird angle. I just uh, felt like doing this because I'm pretty comfortable sitting on the floor with my face on the edge of the bed, apparently. And uh, sort of having dinner. Really interesting fried chicken that Janet made tonight. It's like lemon pepper, cayenne pepper, and then some other kind of pepper. So it's very pepperific chicken. Which is odd because she's always talking about her blood pressure, but I guess, you know, she doesn't really care. This is not like me being depressed or anything. I just feel really comfortable doing it this way. But, uh, today is the 12th, March 12, 2012. It's uh, about 10 some. Check my phone. It's 10:40 p.m. I had to work today. I got off. Uh, I was scheduled to get off at 8:30, but I got off at about 8, so 30 minutes early. And then I got a ride to the train station, which is always nice, considering it saves me, excuse me, 2:50 for um, a bus ride. Uh, I get to the train station. I take the Brookhaven down to Five Points, and then I transfer from Five Points to um, Indian Creek, which is my final destination movie reference. And tonight was kind of was a bit odd. I took the train. Once I got on the train in Brookhaven, norm the next stop is normally Lenox and Lindbergh. Uh, someone came over the announcement and said that the train was, on, was stopping in Lenox and cannot go beyond Lindbergh Center. And, you know, obviously it wasn't going to give us the details why. I automatically assume it might have been like a technical or electrical issue where in most cases that sometimes happens, I guess, because, you know, it's trains. Or even if, like, you know, some something serious is going on as far as you know, the train tracks are concerned, or train traffic, if that exists, as far as controlling, coordinating who goes where and whatever. But, um, no, we get to Linux, and pretty much, um, the announcement was, if you, you know, if you're going, well, no, pretty much they kicked everybody off the train. That's, that was roughly, it. everybody everybody has to, get, has to get off the train, and they sent these two buses, and pretty much the announcement was, okay, these buses... We're going to go to the R Center, which usually comes after Lindbergh, and then shoot back up to Bucket. So pretty much the Lindbergh station was just shut down completely. Like there was no trains going through it. And I'm thinking, like, okay, well, I guess something really severe is going on as far as, you know, shutting it down is concerned. And, um, yeah, I'm still in my uniform, by the way. I just didn't feel like it didn't change. Um... Yeah, so, some really good chicken. Sorry. So I got to take the bus to the R Center in order for me to get down to five points. And, um, yes, yeah, so we're on the train, pretty, I mean, we're on the bus on our way to R Center. You know, a typical reaction, I guess, from a public transportation rider is, you know, everyone's complaining, everyone's like, oh... You know, I've been on my feet all day. I ain't trying to take this long ass bus ride for no reason. Because, you know, y'all, because Marta's screwing up and blah, blah, blah. You know, it's just too typical, I guess, average train rider or public transportation user would complain about. So, yeah. Um, we get to the R Center, and then there's like a lot of people at the R Center, which I guess some of them actually came from the. Limburg station and they were there waiting for another train to be available and you know start heading down south and uh this guy well a couple of couple of guys in the car that I got on a couple of other guys got on as well and they were like maybe two three feet away from me and they're sitting here talking about why the Limburg station was shut down to begin with and it turns out that somebody got killed by one of the trains one of the inbounding trains. Now, when I heard that, <clears throat> you know, I was thinking like, damn, that really sucks. Some of you got killed. But then, right away, somebody else responded with, oh, well, you know, that happens all the time. 
and I'm thinking, does it really? Because this is literally the first time I'm hearing about it since I've lived down here. And, um, yeah, so there all that happens all the time. And I guess it's pretty much a cross between, you know, somebody somebody accidentally getting killed versus, you know, the suicidal types who would just throw themselves in front of a train, which I guess is the more common one that they were talking about. And then the guy, I guess, kind of slipped out and said, yeah, I got a picture of it. And the next thing you know, like, all these people stood up and ran towards him like, oh, my God, let me see it, let me see it, let me see it. And yes, I was one of those people. I, I, I don't feel completely bad. I mean, I wanted to see for myself. Like, that's just how I am. Plus, I don't get squeamish when I see dead bodies. I get a little sad, but I don't get squeamish. Like, I don't mind, you know, guts and gore and crap like that. But, oh, it was so unfortunate. Like, like this. And just from, like, what the guy was talking about, I guess pretty much... I mean, I guess it potentially could have been a suicide, but just from the details of what he said, it sounds like it couldn't have been. It sounds like, you know, it was complete, it was an accident. Like, he fell down in the tracks somehow, which, you know, I shouldn't play near the edge of the track, I don't think. Fell down there and pretty much just tried to save himself, but it's like there was other people at the train station that probably could have helped him and saved his life, you know? But it's like, when it's stuff like that that comes up, that could have possibly been prevented, or, you know, a death could have been prevented, that, um, it's like, nobody does anything. Like, are we as humans really this selfish nowadays, to where we can't even help our fellow man? That sounded really dramatic, but I'm being totally serious. It's like... Just from what he said, it sounded like somebody could have helped him, and nobody did. Yeah, and it's like, that's nothing new. Unfortunately, people are just selfish like that nowadays. It only helps somebody if, you know, it's better fitting themselves. Now, I'm a little angry at that because... like somebody could have helped them. Nobody did. So. I'm getting total fat ass right now. So yeah, like, pretty much. They could have helped them. And they didn't. So. He ends up dying. The entire station gets shut down. And, um... Yeah. My night. That was pretty much my night. And, like, this was roughly... According to the guy who actually had the picture of... The body. This occurred, like... Three hours. Three hours ago from the time I've been recording this video. About three hours. So... Roughly right before I got off of work, this happened... And then my trip got extended because they shut down the Lindbergh station. And it's just it's just so unfortunate. To me personally, whether or not it was suicide or you know, it was an accident it's an accident. Well, I guess it's not considered a freak accident, but you know, it's an accident in general. It's just so unfortunate. Me personally, I don't like death in any form. Like, whether it's suicide, homicide, genocide, uh, any other kind of terms that end inside that killed in large quantities. Like, hell, I don't even like killing insects, for that matter. Yeah, I'm one of those hippie-ish type freaks that likes, you know, well, not hippie-ish, I guess I would say almost Buddhist-like. You know, I value all living things. Even like a spider. As long as it's not poisonous, then you know I won't have any problems. Can't show them all love like that, shoot. But I think that's just so unfortunate, and it's like somebody has to tell. Excuse me, somebody has to tell that that boy's parents and like his siblings, if he has any, or pretty much all his relatives that you know, like you're 
I found your son's body at the Lindbergh train station. No parent wants to hear that. It's very sad. <clears throat> and the thing is, right now, cable's kind of messed up in this house, so... Hey, I was wondering if whether or not it's actually going to make it on the news. And the thing is, I guess we as black people, we don't joke about this half the time when we say, you know, if it happens to a white person, it's on the news within minutes. If it happens to a black person, it's almost like just another nigga gone. And that's, to me, a bad thing to say. But, because of today's media, it's, uh, it's, been, it's been proven right. So, I really am curious as to whether or not his story does make it on the news in the next 24 hours or not. Like I, I even actually wonder if any of these supposed common situations that occur at, at the train station actually even make it on the news. I would kind of hope so, because, you know, not that it'll make a great story for Sweep Week or however those anchor reporters are about getting good stories and such. It's just the fact that it happened, and this guy's family is going to be affected by it. I mean, even some were said that the guy took the picture, who like, I seen it, he was wrong. But you know, like, when you think about it, nowadays people taking pictures of everything. I mean, yeah, you know, he was he was wrong about taking a picture. Whatever. So was the person who took the picture of Whitney Houston when she was dead in her casket. I'm sorry. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. So. Okay. Sorry about that. But yeah, so. Mm. That would be my comparison. Like, you know, the guy did get a picture of it. I seen it. And it was, like, really graphic. And it's just. I mean, I'm glad I'm not the squeamish type, but it's just so unfortunate to just see that happen. And especially if you actually know how it occurred and all that. But my comparison was, you know. Whoever that person was took the the Whitney, picture of Whitney Houston, you know, in her casket and sold it to the National Enquirer. I mean, they're just as bad. Only difference is, you know, Whitney Houston was a celebrity, and this was, you know, an average black dude who, unfortunately, ended up on the tracks at a subway station. You know, that should make this like a safety type video, but you know, when you're at the station, and hopefully you're not trying to commit suicide, try and stay away from the edge of the tracks. I mean, I do. Because every time, I, every, time I, every time I go to the train station, I have a slight paranoia of going anywhere near the edge of a subway station. Although, if I'm there with my friend Jeff, I I was jokingly talking about pulling like a parkour move and just jumping across the station, like jumping across the track, like, you know, not right before the train shows up, but it's like that 15 minute wait before the next train shows up. It's crossed my mind. I'm pretty sure there's like a video out there somewhere where people are jumping across train tracks without getting killed in the subway station. But yeah, I mean, that's my that's the whole point of this video. Somebody died tonight. It's very unfortunate.